Okay, everybody, it's still me, Gregor Manorino, on this lovely, lovely, let's stay together, freaking lovely, Thursday, March 17, 2022, people, how about this? Not just another rally here on Wall Street, three days of stock market uh, gains here. This all started, as you well know, the day before the Fed made their announcement that they were going to raise the federal funds rate a whole whopping quarter of 1% because they're so concerned about inflation. You know that. They're absolutely fixated on doing something about it. How about freaking no? They're going to continue to inflate, and you know that. Okay. So, uh, yeah, looking really good. What else is happening? Crude oil today surging like 9% higher. No secret to you, crude is going much higher. So get used to that too. Um, 10 year yield looking beautiful. 2.19 last time I looked. The dollar nose diving. As a matter of fact, let's look at the dollar or the relative strength of the dollar real quick. This market is so convinced that the Federal Reserve is going to aggressively raise rates moving forward that the dollar has cratered the last two days. Oh, how does that work? You see, it's very simple. See, it's always out there, okay? You just got to know where to look. The market doesn't believe whatsoever that the Federal Reserve will be aggressively raising rates. Uh, obviously, currency traders don't believe that. And look, this is, it's a game. They're playing their same twisted game, the lies, the deceptions, the distractions, the talking heads being paraded out on MS, on uh, CNBC, Fox Business, Bloomberg, yeah, all of them. Uh, oh yeah, the Federal Reserve is really concerned. The retards. I'm sorry to say that because I know this offends so many of you. They're parading these freaks out to tell you to lie to you. And you know that. This is just so sick to me. It's out of control. I mean, what did we find out this morning? Home affordability is now beyond the reach of most, well, any average American at this particular point. Unless you're in the upper echelon here. And then you're going to buy that home and you're going to rent it out to some poor schmuck. Um, this is a, a crushing mechanism that's going on right now. It's deliberate. And the faster the economy free falls, what does that mean for the stock market, people? Yes, the higher it's going to go. Look, there's all this talk about how the Fed, again, is going to be aggressive raising rates. No one's buying it. The market's not buying it. The currency market's not buying it. And the Fed continues to inflate housing prices by buying mortgage-backed securities again like there's no tomorrow. But when do you think... A single member of Congress, even one, is going to ask them why they are doing that. Excuse me, Mr. Mr. Yellowstein Powell. Maybe you want to enlighten us all, you know, our, our loving, caring, you know, members of Congress. Why is it that we have surging home prices, but you guys are buying mortgage-backed securities like, you know, there's no end to it. Uh, duh! And again, look, it's not going to stop people. You all know that. So the story today is, yes, yes, a lovely rally on Wall Street. You know, the 10-year yield settling above 2%. No surprise to any of you. I've been telling you this for months. Um, you know, I'm not right all the time. I am certainly not right all the time. But with the big ones, I kind of seem to nail it. And I'm happy to say that because I'm keeping you all on the right side of this is to the best of my ability. All right. Like I said, I'm not always right, but I am trying and you know that's true. Anyway, what else should we talk about here? Gold and silver catching a nice bid today. Bitcoin around 41,000. I mean, everything is looking really pretty, at least from this perspective here. Although, you know, there's all the talk about energy shortages, all the talk about food shortages, uh, new COVID variants, that too. Did you hear that one? Oh yeah, be ready. I, I thought they were done milking it, but I guess not. They got to have multiple crises at the same time where they're talking about more coming down the pike. Lovely. Isn't that just fantastic, people? I don't know. Uh, and the other big thing today, I'm, I'm writing this stuff down, is how the Federal Reserve got inflation. How? They're, this is the question they're asking each other on the mainstream. How did the Federal Reserve 
get inflation so wrong? Because this is all by design. They didn't get anything wrong. They've been deliberately inflating on an epic scale. Uh, and these, these imbecile people, really, they, do they think this is just by accident that the Fed really... You know, they're really trying. They are trying so hard to make everything great for the American people because they care so much. So how did they get it so wrong? Because they're trying to destroy not just the economy, they're trying to destroy nations around the world and, and make everyone and nations around the world slaves. That's all this is. Do they not realize, seriously, that at its core, the debt-based economic model must continue to inflate? can't ever stop. It must inflate and inflate and inflate and inflate. The moment we stop doing that, we implode. Do they not know that? Or do they think we live in some other kind of, you know, reality? You can't make this shit up. It's impossible to do. Anyway, so in summary here, yet, yes, another rally on Wall Street, dollar nose diving, energy surging, natural gas, crude oil, people getting crushed, squeezed to death. They can't afford to buy a house. Uh, and, and, and this is just the freak show that we are all in. But people, we know what we're doing. We're not going to stop. You know, um, we're in all the right spots in my view. I really think that's true. I believe that's true. We need to continue doing what we are doing without even a slight deviation. Bet against the debt, become your own central bank, holding hard assets, have some crypto in your portfolio. Buy large cap dividend paying stocks. I got this on my website, traderschoice.net. There's a link down here to my current positions, short term and long term. I will be adding to these moving forward. If you do subscribe to my newsletter, it's free. Again, link in the description of this video. I'm gonna blast things out to you. I won't let you down. I will never let you down. Because I know you got my back too, all right? And another shout out to my moderators that are crushing these freaking scammers. And they're running for the freaking hills. All right, people, look, I don't know what else there is to say. But I'm going to let you go. Please comment on the things I said here. Uh, please share this video. Get it out there. And uh, like I said, this is not Greg Manorino's thing. It's not my thing. This is our thing, and it's getting pretty damn big. All right, let's let's keep that going. Again, love you a lot. See you in the morning.